Uh, first, though, Giles and Matthew are here to talk through more of the headlines. Can I ask you something? Please you keep do. calling it Pancake Tuesday. Pancake Day. I was brought up thinking it was Shrove Tuesday. Yeah. And that is, I think, the official name. I think it is. The yeah. day on which we do play and toss with our pancakes. That's correct. But Shrove Tuesday, do you know the origin of the word Shrove? No, I don't. Is it like a clear out? Is it like a Shrove? Well, sort of it, it is before the clear out. You're absolutely right, because Ash Wednesday is tomorrow. This is in the Christian calendar. This is going to mark the beginning of Lent. Yes. The 40 mm -hmm. days and nights that Jesus was in the desert, mm -hmm. that's 40 days excluding um, weekends mm -hmm. or Sundays, takes you to Easter. And today is the day we empty the cupboard before Lent begins when we may be uh, not, was it. not eating very that. much, mm -hmm. giving up things. Some people <coughs> actually fasted throughout. But shrove is the past tense of to shrive. And to shrive is to <laughs> seek forgiveness. You go to your priest, you confess your sins, ah. and you are absolved. So this is the day, if you have sins, you confess them. Do you have anything you'd like Clear to confess? Clear your chest. I'm, I've asked for a special meeting with you later. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be done in a matter of moments. Fine. It may take an hour or two okay. to tell you it's all the things a lot to confess. I have to confess. Fine. You know. That's no problem. But that's what it is. So that's what oh, we're, thank you for we're that. shriving our ah. sins today on Shrove Tuesday. Lovely. Very good. And now it's time for loose women. <laughs> 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 um, our next story here. What do you think about this? You both are very, very smart, very well turned thank out. You. But BBC News reporters have been given the green light to dressed down at work after being told appearing sweaty and dirty looks more trustworthy. So this is advice from BBC News Director of Digital, Nadia Nilsson. Um, what, what do we think about this? Do we agree? I think, um, to be clear, as far as I gather, if you're, if you're um, a news reader, you're still going to be suited, booted, dressed up and everything. Yeah. But if you're a reporter, um, you don't have to go to such extremities. But the reporters I've known for, for years, I can remember one of them telling me, uh, Stuart Ramsey, a very well-known uh, reporter, saying, oh, you invest your money in a good suit. And by a good suit, he says, you, that means something that you can fold up, screw up, sleep in, chuck up, anything, but when you put it on, give it a shake and go on camera and you'll look OK. Yeah. And I think that's the, that's the right philosophy. You'd not mm. just turn up and do anything, make an effort and do your best. So, curiously, appearance does count. I saw yesterday a photograph of the president of Ukraine when he first came to the United Kingdom before the war. Yeah. And he was wearing a suit. And he looked like another president from another European country. Now he only appears mm. in his battle fatigues. Mm -hmm. And that actually sends a message. It does. And I think what this is telling us is if you are reporting from a battlefront, actually look as if you're reporting from a battlefront. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be wearing a jacket and tie. Well, but, but, but the, the, the staff were reporting, told it's a bit like be as sweaty and dirty as when we're in the field, it's more trustworthy than if we look like more we're real, out I suppose. Of an isn't it? Ceremony. You're trying to be more Things truthful. Got more relaxed. I mean, you used to wear. Did you wear a suit jacket? I did. Did you wear a suit jacket on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, things are much more relaxed now. you wear a tablecloth, which is an amusing yeah. idea. Charles <laughs> 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 I said to you this morning, I like your shirt. You very did, much. you did. I like you did. Your shirt. I like Don't I you like pick on my fit. All right, go on, those go jumpers, Charles. Come on, come on, it's fine. No, 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 it's I, fine. I, I am fine. no one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing <always> smarties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to give them up for Lent, you see. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Getting out of the way today. <laughs> um, right, uh, next one. Um, <laughs> which one should we do? Let's do this one. Um, uh, first generation Apple iPhone in its oh. original box <clears> has sold for 52 thousand pounds wow. at auction 16 years after it was oh, it's first all released. Oh, it Look, it's all sealed. I remember the first time I got my one of those. The, it's a great story, cos the lady who's made the money yeah. had bought an iPhone and then her friends had given her an iPhone. Mm -hmm. So she had two and she, she just put it. one in a drawer. A few years later, somebody told her, don't open it, whatever you do, cos you'll, you'll damage the value. The most extraordinary thing of the whole story is at the auction, the original the estimate was £500. So it's gone for over 100 times its estimate. It's a phenomenal. £52,000. I mean, she said, uh, what kind of alone? saddo wants one, though? I mean, really, how sad. Look, I've got an unbox. Well, it's like, I've got it's like yeah. anything. The amount of times we've all been told, if you keep it in the box and, and keep it wrapped up, it could, one day it'll be worth a fortune. I mean, That's you've got to have the long term. You've got to have the long view. In the 1980s, was it, I had a mobile phone that was like a brick. Oh, it's yeah. literally this big. And it had a it was like a, you know, a field telephone. Yeah. If only I'd kept that. Yes, I know. And I had a Betamax machine <laughs> for showing videos. 
You heard of a Betamax? I've heard of it. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you it's a kind of breakfast cereal, don't you? It's a different thing. Betamax is not Weetabix. You actually put it. Uh, and yeah, then, I had told Charles today, he said, oh, I think it's worth thousands. So I looked at him and said, no, it's worth about 40 quid. But the tapes, the Betamax tapes, they are like gold dust. Are they? Yes. 500 you got any of those? for sale this morning. Yes, I've got quite a few of them. Oh, Have you? Go. Where do you live? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so what about this then? A Newcastle fan has put his dog up for sale in a tongue in cheek before you'll go bad post after he, the dog, ate his League Cup final tickets <laughs> worth £72 each. Alan Carling from Newcastle was waiting on the final tickets, which would see Newcastle play a Wembley final for the first time since 1999, and they're playing against Man United. What would you do? <laughs> uh, this is good news. I have a son in law who's a vet who has told yeah. me if there's a QR. Code. On, code yeah. on the ticket, he will take the dog to X-ray and will be able to read. They'll be able to read. If you take the dog... Will that to, work? Apparently, it could work. That won't Depends work. on the will digestive work? system of the dog. QR code you've got to see it for your well, camera, though, haven't it's you? Not, it's on, it's on it. camera there. Oh, hang so, on. So everybody so at it's home... Not, these aren't ripped are up. Hang on. Uh, everybody oh. It's one. just crunched them. It hasn't yeah, passed yeah. through. Oh, I thought it had eaten them. Oh, Alan, you're fine. Just take those. OK. That's fine, But But the business end of those tickets should be OK, shouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love the way you call it the business end after it's been inside the dog. I know. Stay away from that. If you scan the QR code from your homes now, can you just pretend to be this gentleman, Mr Carling, and go to the, the game on his behalf? Well, don't give people oh. that idea, please. Thank well, Carrie Ann so says... Uh, Carrie Ann says, the day before a garden party, courtesy of my German shepherd, shepherd Sasha. Oh, dear, Sasha. Uh, Danielle says, the creation from Rory and Ozzy, a bag of flour, a bag of icy sugar, a bag of cough sugar and six eggs. They told me they wanted to bake us a cake. Be careful, it's pancake day today. What are they going to get up to now? Sasha says... Oh, another Sasha says, uh, six-month-old golden retriever, Keith. <laughs> Did this to my other half, Smith Lops. He also swallowed a whole sock, which luckily came out oh. the other end three days later. Oh. And it was whole. Oh. Oh. Three Car days later, too. Three days later. Quite a long time yeah, to go it, through it, the old system. Cara, pardon? Three days to go three through days. the old system. I don't know if that's average. Ask your son. Yes, He'll I know. will. Son in law. Son in law. It's very useful having a son in law. It's a bit like I can't tell you. It's marvelous. Uh, Lexi, uh, the, the Cara says, my Lexi. He did his wife's scans on the machine that they use for the. I shouldn't really be. Well, in the vet? Yes. Really? It was a really good vet. Scanned by a vet for yes. the baby. Well, it must be the same, yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's, the, it's the same thing, yes. Very good. So disappointed it animals, wasn't a small litter. animals. Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, exactly, discovered there and then. <laughs> so I think, oh, look, I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, thank you both. Thank you very much. We'll go and lie down. Because we've got to do our yeah. pancake toss. Oh, yes! Top yeah. TV You're in the race. We're going to be, we want to be <laughs> in the... Am I, I want to be on your You're team. You're on my team. I think I'll be explaining that when you're shriving me later. OK, OK, OK. See you in a bit, Charles. <laughs> Are you up, which means you're on my team. Yeah. Winners. Winners. How's your back? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, well, we're we'll stuck. Cope. <laughs> uh, right, it's competition time now. How would you like to get your hands on our biggest prize of the year so far? We're giving away a huge quarter of a million pounds. <laughs> Here's Josie with the details.